And hello, everyone. It's my uh, great honor to share our work, this entangling long and short term interest for recommendation. And it is a joint work from Tsinghua University and Kuaishou Technology. Uh, first, I will introduce a few background. Uh, in recommended systems, uh, user interests are actually difficult to track. Specifically, they tend to have both uh, stable interests, which are uh, long-term preferences, and dynamic interests, which are their uh, short-term interests. And in this page, there is a, a toy example. And for this user, his uh, long-term interest may be the uh, electronic devices while well, his uh, short-term interest might be the, the clothes. And this distinguishing between long and short-term interest is critical for uh, recommendation accuracy. And the motivation of uh, distinguishing between the two aspects is to uh, achieve adaptive recommendation. And to achieve this goal, uh, we first need to capture long and short-term interests uh, separately. Then we predict the current driven interest of the given user. And last, we uh, recommend according to the current interest. For example, when uh, users continuously browse the same category, uh, and in this case, the short-term interest may be the uh, dominant interest. And when users uh, switch between different categories, uh, the long-term interest might be uh, more important. So uh, our goal in this work is to uh, disentangle long and short-term interest. Uh, next, uh, let me introduce uh, existing solutions. And these methods can be uh, roughly divided into uh, three categories. Uh, the first one is uh, long-term recommenders, uh, which are mostly based on uh, collaborative filtering. And these methods learn a, a unified vector to represent interest, so they uh, ignore the short-term interest. And the second category is uh, short-term recommenders, uh, which are also known as uh, sequential recommenders. And they propose to learn from uh, item sequences. However, these models tend to have a short memory and forget long-term interest. So the above two categories uh, only capture one single aspect. Only a few methods uh, consider both aspects, which is the last category, uh, mixed method. However, they, uh, they, they propose to uh, directly combine collaborative filtering and sequential methods. However, they impose uh, insufficient supervision on the learned long and short-term interest, which means that uh, the learned representations for one aspect contains much information about the other aspect. In other words, the long and short-term interests are entangled with each other. And to disentangle the two aspects, uh, there are three uh, main challenges. The first one is that long short term interests uh, reflect quite different aspects of user preference. Uh, the long term interests are users' overall preference, which is uh, stable over a long time. And short term interests are users' dynamic preference, which can evolve rapidly uh, according to users' uh, recent interactions. The second challenge is uh, lacking labeled data for long and short term interests, since the collected data only contains uh, implicit interactions and we don't know the underlying interests, so there is uh, no ground truth for long and short term interests. And the third challenge is the, the importance of long and short term interests is uncertain which means that uh, the contribution of the two kinds of interests uh, may vary on different user item interactions. And now uh, I will introduce our proposed uh, CLSR model, uh, which is short for Contrastive Learning Framework of Long and Short-Term Interest for Recommendation. And to address the first challenge, which is a different dynamics of long and short-term interest, uh, we propose to capture the two aspects with separate mechanisms. Uh, the long-term interest, which is a uh, time invariant, and the short-term interest evolves from the last time step. And to capture the 
to capture the different dynamics, uh, we propose to use two separate encoders to learn uh, representations for long and short term interest. In the long term encoder, uh, we use embedding lookup, which is the UL, to obtain a query vector for each user and use attention pooling to obtain the long-term interest representation. And in the uh, short-term encoder, we use a GRU to capture the interest evolution and generate the query vector UST. And then we use attention pooling on top of the RNN to obtain the short-term interest representation. And by using separate encoders uh, of long and short-term interest, we address the, the first challenge. And to overcome the second challenge of uh, lacking supervision on long and short term interest, we propose to self supervise uh, the two aspects uh, with contrastive learning. First, uh, we construct proxy labels for long and short term interest from interaction sequences themselves. Specifically uh, for uh, long-term interest, uh, the long-term proxy is obtained by uh, mean pooling on the whole interaction history. And for the short-term proxy, it is obtained from uh, mean pooling on the recent interaction history. And now we have uh, representations of long and short-term interest from the two encoders, and also the proxy representations, which serves as uh, soft labels of, of long and short-term interest. Then we propose to uh, optimize the similarity between representations and proxies. Uh, the first two terms force the interest representation to be more similar to its corresponding proxy than the opposite one. And the last two terms uh, force the interest proxies to be more similar to its corresponding representation than the opposite one. And with the, the contrastive loss, uh, we address the second challenge. To overcome the uh, third challenge of uh, variant importance of long and short term interest, we propose to uh, fuse uh, the two aspects adaptively. Here we uh, design an attention network which takes uh, long-term representation, short-term representation, and interaction history as well as the target item as input and to predict the importance of long-term interest and short-term interest. And with this attention network, uh, the third challenge is addressed. Then we concat the user and target item representation and use a uh, MLP to predict the interaction probability. Finally, for model training, uh, we utilize a uh, negative log likelihood for interaction prediction. And this loss function is uh, jointly optimized with the previous uh, contrastive loss function. And to summarize, here is in uh, a holistic view of the proposed CLSR method. And there are uh, three main components, which are uh, separate encoders and contrastive disentanglement of long and short-term interest and adaptive fusion of the two aspects. Now I will introduce uh, the conducted experiments we conduct experiments on two large scale data sets collected from uh, real world e commerce platform and short video platforms. And we compare our method with uh, all the three categories of baseline methods, including the uh, long and short term approach, SLIRAC. And we use uh, four widely adopted metrics, which are uh, EOC, GOC, uh, MRR, and NDCG. And we aim to uh, answer the following research questions. The first one is, uh, how does the proposed framework perform compared with state-of-the-art recommendation models? 
The second one is, can CISR achieve stronger disentanglement of long and short-term interest against existing unsupervised baselines? And the uh, last research question is, what is the effect of different components in CISR? First is the uh, overall performance. Uh, we can observe that uh, short-term models generally performs better than long-term models, which indicates that it is uh, critical to capture the sequential pattern of user interest. And we also observe that uh, the long and short-term baseline SLIRAC uh, does not outperform other baselines that only capture one aspect. In other words, the, the joint modeling of long and short-term interest does not always bring performance gains. So it is uh, insufficient to uh, disentangle the two factors with no explicit supervision. And last, our uh, proposed CISR achieved the best performance compared against all baseline methods. So disentangled modeling of long and short-term interest can achieve uh, significant improvements. For the uh, second research question, we uh, first compare between using single and both interests. And here we can find that uh, the proposed CSR model outperforms SLIRAC in all cases. And also combining uh, long and short-term interests achieves better performance than using only one side interest on um, both Taobao and Quasho data sets. We also investigate the, the performance of predicting different behaviors. And here for Taobao data set, uh, the, other, the second behavior is uh, purchase, since it is an uh, e-commerce data set. And for Kwaisho data set, the second behavior is like um, a uh, short video. And here alpha is the predicted importance of long-term interest from the, from the model. And we can find that uh, CSR has much lower alpha than uh, SLIRAC in all cases. And remember that in the first research question, we find that uh, short-term interests are generally more important than long-term interests. And here alpha is the importance of long-term interests. So uh, this, finding, this phenomenon is consistent with our findings in uh, the previous research question. And on the contrary, uh, the high alpha value in CRAC indicates that long-term interest representations in CRAC contain much information of the undesired short-term interest, which means that uh, the two factors are entangling with each other in the uh, CRAC method. And we know that uh, Behavior, generally, behaviors of a higher cost tend to be more driven by long-term interest. For example, in Taobao data set, the purchase behavior, and in Kwaisho data set, the like behavior has higher uh, money cost and time cost. And the click behavior in both data sets has lower cost. And this, this statement actually is uh, inspired from the work from Airbnb, where they have uh, click behavior and book behavior, where book is a stronger behavior, which uh, indicates more um, users' long-term interest. So when predicting the uh, stronger behavior, the importance of long-term interest is, needs to be uh, higher when predicting purchase or like than click. And from the results, we can find that uh, the importance of long-term interest actually increases in CSR from click to purchase or like. But for uh, the SLIRAC method, uh, it is not the case. For example, on Taobao data set, uh, the alpha value actually decreases. And on Quasho data set, the increase is not as much as our uh, CSR method. So CSR achieves a stronger disentanglement than CRAC. And for the last research question, we first uh, we we can find that uh, removing the contrastive loss leads to worse performance. So self-supervised contrastive learning is necessary for disentangling long and short-term interest. 
And we also combine the constructive loss with existing model, DIN, and it can also improve the performance. So CISR is a general framework for learning long and short-term interest. And we can find that too large loss weight for the constructive learning may contradict with the main uh, interaction prediction task. And uh, high performance is obtained by setting the loss weight as uh, 0 0.1. And finally, we uh, compare between adaptive fusion and fixed fusion. We can find that adaptive fusion outperforms all different values of fixed alpha. So it is uh, necessary to fuse long and short term interest adaptively, and a tension network successfully achieved this goal. And to conclude, we propose contrastive learning of long and short term interest with self supervision, which attains better overall performance compared with existing approaches. And experiments demonstrate that this entanglement of the two interests is critical for accurate recommendation. For future work, we plan to extend CISR to include other designs of encoders and proxies for long and short term interest. And the codes for our work can be found at uh, this link. And thanks for your attention. That's all my all for my presentation. Thank you very much for the presentation. Um, we have a question. I'm going to read it for you. Uh, so nice work. Does long-term interest modeling only make sense when the user use command or system multiple times? For, for example, when he or she use the same e-commerce multiple times? Yeah, uh, it's, a, it's a great question. Uh, actually, we uh, in our paper, we have the details of the constructed uh, proxy representations. And actually, we have a, a threshold value for the short-term interest. If the interaction history is uh, shorter than the threshold, then there is no need to distinguish between long-term interest and short-term interest since they, they are the same. And if the history, the interaction history is longer than that threshold, and we will uh, use a separate modeling of long-term interest and short-term interest. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, 